Welcome to another Read the Factory Manual. This time we have a number 57 Land Rover fire truck. Okay, let's get this uh, these wheels off of here. I want to get them off because the axles are rusty. Otherwise I'd leave them on, but they're rusty. So we'll use the Marty method to get those off of there. The finger. Alright, back from paint stripping. Uh, not really anything exciting. I just sprayed the uh, citrus strip on the outside and let it do its thing. I also drill and tapped the little holes there. You've seen that a bazillion times, I believe, I hope. We'll see. So I have some work to do. I didn't get quite the 97.4% that uh, Matchbox Garage gets, but uh, it did alright. So I'm going to go ahead and get this wire brushed up and see how it looks. Okay, that's done. Let's give it a once over. See if there's anything I want to file to get cleaner on it. Looking in the window area there. Just a couple of little spots that we can clean up. Go. Yeah. Couple hobby files here.
because we're customizing this fire truck, we are going to put on some stickers. Printed these stickers out on my little Canon die sublimation printer. And I think they turned out pretty good. So let's try to stick them on, shall we? See there, I tried to put a decal on it. Screwed that up. Voila. So what did I learn putting that decal on that you saw the error on earlier? I learned that I need to spray this clear beforehand and really test the decal on a different model. What happened was is I printed out the Kent uh, Fire Department or Fire Brigade and I printed it in yellow and uh, the yellow just didn't didn't come out at all. But I think that works because this is a custom fire engine so now it's time to start painting some of these things silver. Let's see how she looks. figure out what else to paint other than this cap right here. I know that one wants to be silver. Alright, I'll go look at the real picture and we'll figure out what needs to be painted on that. We're now ready for assembly finally. I've had this one in the in the crate for a while. But uh I had it at the bottom of the stack and I forgot about it. So let's put it back together. What we have is, uh, well, we obviously have the body here and the and the the base, whole suspension piece, the wheels, the ladder. I meant to print out a new ladder. Maybe I'll do that. I'll do another video on that. I'm make, on drawing up the ladder and printing it out. I went ahead and um, filed out the this light here which came out pretty good and I decided to keep the uh, leads on there because I'm gonna do something interesting on this I think I'm gonna try to put an Arduino or something inside of this to light up and went on command when I ask it to so I'm gonna give that a shot that'll be in another video as well but I wanted to get this done and out into the uh, out into the world so we'll get started we'll put in the suspension first okay so if you look at this thing there is a little angled here a little chamfer and this goes in in such a way that it slides in like this so that you can push up this part 
in the chamfer to get it to go in. There we go. fix that. Let me get the wheels back on there and then I'll fix this piece that fell off. I need to get the wheels going and then we'll put it in the axle retention system or ARS. Take this out the arse and make it all nice. And the size of the wheels we want out. Okay, all right. Let's go out there and give it a try. Thing screwed up. There we go. The Matchbox number 57 Land Rover Fire whatever thinger is. What do they call it? They call it a fire truck. So we take a look at it before. It, uh, it was played with quite a bit as you can see. And it's got a bunch of scratches and you know regular play stuff in there. The windshield unfortunately was cracked so we had to replace that with some um, we did that with some packing material. Here it is today. So today, I put a new light in it. I put some new glass in there. A little bit clearer glass with packing material. I painted up the details, got it painted red again. And I think it looks pretty nice. Pretty nice truck. Turned out pretty good. Looks good to me. Got all the parts back in there. I am quite pleased with this truck. I, I bet you're pleased with it as well. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do. Let your friends know about this channel as well. If you didn't like it, then hit that thumbs down button twice. And then, um, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.